So this cover crop is Sudan grass. Um, some of its main benefits are is a fast growing grass. So it's gonna outcompete the weeds around it and really shade um, the, the ground cover to reduce weed or to increase weed suppression. It also, um, as it grows tall, it gets pretty lignified. And um, so there's a lot of carbon in its body. And when you incorporate that into the soil, that helps uh, maintain the nitrogen release uh, of your uh, soil nutrients. And this, uh, this crop of sedium grass was also planted uh, about a month and a half later than when you usually plant it. And it's doing very well. Um, so it's really promising in the hot heat uh, of Texas summers. So this cover crop is sun hemp. It's a tropical legume. Um, so it does really well in hot and humid environments. Uh, one of its main benefits, since it is a legume, it's adding nitrogen to your system through nitrogen fixation. And it also, uh, as it gets taller, it gets a pretty large canopy. It'll flower um, these great yellow flowers that attract uh, beneficial pollinators to your system. So this cover crop right here is Lab Lab. Um, it's a legume as well, and it does great with nitrogen fixation. Um, and it adds a biomass to your system that's eventually gonna decompose and um, uh, add carbon as well. So this is a millet. This variety is a pearl millet. And it grows, um, it's a fast growing grass and does really well in the heat. Where the, Again, this was planted about a month and a half after uh, the original planting date when it's recommended to, and it's still growing and doing well. Um, at the end of uh, its life cycle, it will have a, a head of grain on top of it. And that was the main reason the farmer wanted to grow it here is because he has chickens and goats, and he was looking for a cover crop that would reduce weeds, but also be good for feed for his animals on the farm.